Welcome back to the I Must Said podcast. This is not a podcast, this is a YouTube video. What am I even saying? Today is Saturday. I'm cleaning out my closet again. And um, we had a snow day the last like three days, which was really nice, but no more of that. Get down to business. I listened to a podcast last night. I don't remember what the podcast was. It was a random one. I typed in a random stylist. It was Carla Welch um, on Apple Podcasts and an episode came up with her in it. And she was talking about how we need to not hoard stuff in our closets. And I was like, I felt personally attacked basically because that is what I do. Um, and I have so much clothes, obviously. Um, it is kind of my job to have a ton of clothes, but... It's just getting too extreme now. I'm cleaning out my closet. I'm trying to decide what to keep and what to sell. Thing like what sparks joy, what doesn't. Like you're supposed to use the stuff you have and I just keep stuff because I like it. You know, and that's not what we're going for. I wanna have stuff in my closet that I actually wanna wear. <sighs> okay, so wish me luck. Also, Cody hung or put that microfiber towel. There and he, I don't, I can't explain what he does. I have so many pairs of jeans that I really need to go through because no one in their right minds needs this many pairs of jeans. Like that's just insane. But I just love them all so much. So I don't know, I don't know what to do about that. But then, um, here's all of the sets that I have. I've actually like kind of condensed this a lot and these are all dresses um this is all spring summer winter fall dresses so i don't feel like that's that too, that much because it's long dresses and sh well sorry long dresses and short dresses <sighs> i'm trying to decide if i keep or if i sell my engagement picture stuff because i'm like obviously probably never gonna wear it again but is it special enough to keep? That's where we run into problems because here we are hoarding stuff just for sentimental purposes when it's like, I'm never gonna use it, you know? So, oh, just so tough. Here's my blazers. I have a ton of blazers. This is a section and this is a section I think I need to conquer, which is a bunch of tops. I like to hoard tops. I don't really understand why. Um, so I definitely need to go through this and then probably the sweater section because, ugh, tough. It's tough. Well, it's not really that tough. Obviously, there's way more tough things in this world, but I don't know. I have made some moves when it comes to those sections. I've decided to get rid of this jacket that I've had from H&M for the longest time. It's definitely seen better days, but... I just, I don't need it. That, I have this sweater that I've legitimately never worn, but I've been saving, thinking someday I'll wear it. This EB denim vest is too small for me, so why do I own that? I'm not sure. Wore this on my birthday. Just like, stuff. Like, I've never worn this Zara top. This is why I'm not no longer going to Zara all the time. It was making me buy stupid things that I never wore, so. I mean, proof here and here. Invest, guys. We are investing in 2022. As I'm cleaning up my closet, I'm awaiting my Revolve pack. Well, it was delivered. My Revolve package for the month got delivered. I'm excited. There's this coat that I've literally been waiting for for the longest time. Okay. So I got my box of stuff in from Revolve. I ordered some stuff and then I also got sent some stuff as per usual. I got these new earrings, you guys. I'm so excited about them. I've wanted, okay, you know what's hard to find is a pair of stud silver earrings that aren't too big, that won't hurt my ears. I got these ones, they were kind of expensive, but I wanted something chunky and cute and that's what i found so i got that and then i also got the blush i used today which you guys probably don't really care about and then i got these leggings which i need to try on but they should work i think i've talked about this i'm starting ice skating again figure skating i'm starting figure skating at the end of this week so the, the week that this video goes up 
is when I'm starting. And I needed some like good leggings for that because obviously. But I got these slit leggings, which is so exciting. So I'll be trying those on later. Also, Cody just asked me the ink type, so please hold. Oh my God, this box is ginormous. Holy cowzers. Okay, so I just got an Amazon, or not Amazon, a Revolve package in. As you guys know, I work with them every month, but I wanna show you guys what I got in the mail because so why not, you know? I am so excited about this coat. I've wanted this coat since I saw it and it was expensive. I'm not gonna lie, this is an expensive coat. So would this normally be something I'd spend money on? Probably, actually knowing me, probably yeah, because I fucking love coats and I spend so much money. I invest on coats and, um, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm obsessed yes with this coat oh yes <laughs> i love it i love it so much oh my god i invest in coats all the time and i invest in bags obviously um so i got this coat hot 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 then i got the dress yes 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 we know what this is I told you guys you needed to buy this ASAP, and I wasn't kidding. This is the hottest dress ever. It's under $100, and I think it's like the perfect bachelorette dress. It's so cute, and it's so flattering. It's like Spanx, it like you in. I got that. I'm like not trying to touch it too much because I always have makeup on my hands. As I said, I'm starting ice skating again, and I wanted to pick out something that I could wear during practice. So, I got, a, oh my god, this, holy crap. Okay, I have a bougie pullover, and it's Sandy Lang, right? And it was expensive, but it was from my friend's company here in Nashville, so I didn't feel bad about spending that money on it, but this is, like, the softest shirling pullover I've ever touched no shade no tea but this is better than sandy lang this is gonna be so good for practice i got it in a large i can't believe this is a large because it kind of looks a little small but whatever perfect pullover for ice skating when i showed you guys this jumpsuit some of you guys told me it looked like slender man so okay this is hot this is hot it's gonna be so flattering because it's vertical instead of horizontal stripes I'm packing this with me when I go to Los Angeles. This is a jumpsuit. Oh, this is gonna be hot. Yes, it is. So, this is black silky jumpsuit. You'll be seeing me style all of this in an upcoming video, but you'll also be seeing me style it in like vlogs and stuff because obviously I'm going to LA. I also got this super down set, so it's going to be pretty inexpensive. I got a large in the vest. It's like a puffer vest. And then I love how I'm cleaning out my closet and meanwhile I'm also hauling. <laughs> I'm a material girl. Here's the pants. It's like snowsuit but make it chic. And obviously it's green because apparently everything I own in my life is green. I'm sitting on a green carpet. I have green next to me. I'm wearing green green and I've got a giant green coat. Okay, and then the final thing I have to show you is a pair of shoes. And these shoes are, dare I say, they're hot, hot, hot. Okay? And the reason I keep saying that is because Caitlin and I use that term way too much. So, come to Mama. These are from Song of Style. You ready? Bam! Those are sexy. These are like sex. I don't know how else to describe them. They're sexy. I didn't even blink an eye at them when they first came out. Then I saw them on Instagram in like a video and I was like sold. It's one of those things where you need to like see it to believe it, you know? And this in person. Sorry, that was inappropriate. Sexy. But my calves fit in it. We're praying. We're saying a few prayers. Okay, so I'm gonna go try on some of this stuff. Instantly put this on because 
Hello, it's so cute with my green. <laughs> Not really the vibe, but we don't care, do we? No. I've got lipstick in my mouth. Um, yes, I'm going to be ice skating in this because this is my new favorite sweatshirt. I like to think that my pullover collection is like my emotional support pullovers. Like when I don't know what to wear, they're always there for me. Pullovers are life. You know what I'm saying? Cute. Now we're going downstairs to bother Miller because what is more fun than that? He's in my spot, that little turd. Back to doing Poshmark orders. Haven't vlogged in a minute. Today's Monday and I have to drop off some Poshmark orders and then I also have my lash fill and I've just got a cute ass outfit on so today's just a great day to be alive. Oh, it's bright. I have some errands to run. It's very bright so I guess I'll wear these sunglasses that I left in here they don't really match my outfit but that's it well i guess kind of i'm wearing silver hoops um yeah feeling my outfit today i did a like get ready get dressed with me type situation on my instagram or tiktok it's doing fine but i i just Here's the thing. people aren't appreciating the fit i'll show you guys the fit later but um, so I have to go to Nordstrom to pick up a gift card because um, there was a snowstorm, obviously, and I didn't get to do that last week for my lash appointment. So I get my friend who does my lashes a gift card from Nordstrom because it's her favorite store, obviously. Who doesn't love a good Nordstrom moment? Um, and then I need to pick up some groceries and I need to drop off these Poshmark orders. It's an exciting day in my life. I really thought my new purse would be delivered today. So I guess that might be in a separate vlog. I'm not entirely sure. And I also need to podcast, but we, Caitlin and I haven't even like talked about that yet. So life is just hectic today. I have arrived to Green Hills Mall. Um, I'm just going to go into Nordstrom. I'm not gonna take you guys with me. Maybe I will if I see anything, but probably just gonna run in and give my gift card and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and then probably to McDonald's to get a Diet Coke because hello, it's me. What else would I do? They don't have like anything here today. So bummed right now because the reason I'm going to LA in a few weeks was for um, like a class and the class got canceled because of like the new variant. So that sucks. Got postponed till March, which is a bummer because I was so excited. I was like prepared. I was trying to like find the perfect mask and everything because I assumed obviously that we'd be having to wear a mask inside um, for the class. And I, I don't know, I'm just so bummed now, but I guess my, my weekend is now free. Guess I'm going out to visit Caitlin now. So there's that. Um, waiting for her to text me back because I had to, I screenshot the email that I got to let her know that it got canceled. But such a bummer. Anyway, um, I'm currently about to go in for a lash fill. I'm here a little bit early. I'm here. It's 2:20. My appointment's at 2:30. Um. I haven't had a fill in like two and a half weeks. So basically I had it, the snowstorm kind of screwed up my plans. So today is Monday and I was supposed to come on Friday. <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. I'm, gonna bum I'm bummed right now. I was so excited, but it's fine. I'm not making any sense right now just cause I'm, I'm bummed, but it's fine. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Life goes on. COVID just ruins my life. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it just sucks, man. Here are my lashes. So good. You guys know the drill. I see my friend Danielle at Lash Out Nashville. I'll put their information in the description box below. 
Um, because I always get questions about it and I'm like, it's like a known thing, you know? Because I literally have been coming here since the week I moved. Like, I'm obsessed. I like it so much better than the place I went when I lived in LA. Um, I get the volume and I feel like they just look so good um, all the time and I love them. They are like my safety blanket. That is my lashes. Now it is already 3.30. I need to go home. I decided I am going to go to LA still because I want to, well, I have to pick up my wedding dress and also why not? You know, I already have the flight and everything booked and the flight was cheap and I have like the car already arranged because I work with Mazda um, whenever I got to LA for car rental. Um, weird, but it's fun. And why not just have like a little girls weekend? So just kind of bummed still, but what can you do? <laughs> I also start ice skating this week, so I need to find a place where I can get my skate sharpened. Ugh. Anyway, that is what's new here. I will update you guys when I get home. Oh, I should probably stop and get gas. But I'll update you guys when I get home, um, and I'll probably end the vlog. And yeah, that's it. Okay, everybody always wants a haul of stuff that I get from Trader Joe's and they were honestly out of so much stuff from the um the ice the snowstorm oh my god I completely blanked but here's the things that they did have that I could get um Cody likes his pizza we needed some almond milk for some stuff. that fell that felt. I got some stuff for smoothies, like the strawberries, frozen strawberries. So that's exciting. Chicken fried rice is the best. And then these potatoes in the air fryer are so good. I got the chicken parmesan and some turkey bacon, some frozen cherries. We love that. They were out of soft pretzels, which is, um, I also got some blueberries. It was cold outside today, which is why I kind of just like left everything in my car. It was only in the car for like an hour, so it's still very frozen, thank goodness. I got the cheap, spicy cheese crunchies. They're delicious. I got cheese crackers. I got the organic tomato and roasted red pepper soup. I want to make some goat cheese. Um, grilled cheese yum my friend brie posted about it on her instagram story and i was like yes and these are the best cookies ever i don't buy them like in a big bundle because i will eat them all so fast and then i also got makeup wipes for my trip it's the only time i let myself get makeup wipes <sighs> so that is what i got um oh by the way i wanted to show you guys my outfit um i'm wearing this dundas coat from revolve that i've talked about um, in the haul portion of this video, I have this top on from NBD. I've got like these mid-rise, low-rise jeans. I don't know if they're mid or if they're low, but whatever. I don't really care. Um, I'm wearing my hourglass bag and then my Brazils from Nike Dunks that I got on. I think I actually got this pair on Goat months ago. Unfortunately, my coupon for... Farfetch is already expired, so yay! So I'm gonna end the vlog here because this is probably already pretty long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure you stick around by subscribing. Everything linked will be everything that I've mentioned being linked will be in the description box below. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Get excited for a bag unboxing!